Here I give this image of being completely confident and sure of myself. Huh? You mean this was not always so? No. As a matter of fact, seriously, though, Paul, I really, you know, I have always believed that all actors, first of all, are shy. I think all actors are basically very insecure, which is uh, actually something that no one ever thinks of. And I think that's part of why they become actors. I think an actor very often becomes an actor because of a certain shyness. You see, it's easier. What we're doing now, I think, is one of the most difficult things for an actor. That is supposedly to be yourself talking to somebody. It's much easier, you know, to hide behind a role that you're playing, you know, and have mm -hmm. a, a character, the costume, whatever it is, the lights, the director, and all that. You know, otherwise, you, you suddenly sort of feel naked. You suddenly have to just, you say, gee, be yourself. I can't be a, a, a fighter or a cowboy or something, really. Also, you ever think of it, that, uh, Paul, that how childlike an actor has to be? Now, if, a, if, a, if an actor really was sophisticated, how could he say, uh, well, here I am now, I pretend that I'm this gunman, see, and there's Burt Lancaster with a gun, and we come, you know, you have to, you'd have to laugh at yourself. It's only because you have to have a childlike quality. If you, you know, you watch your kid, you have, you have a son, you're telling me, oh, Jonathan? Oh boy, four. Yeah, if you watch kids playing, you see, it's, you know, you, you have to know how to play, and most people lose that ability. You know, they become grown-ups, and they put on, a, their voices get lower, you know, and they develop a certain facade, and they lose that childlike quality that every artist must have, whether it's a, an actor, a painter, a musician, because I think that childlike naivete it gives you a, a receptivity. It makes you, you know, receptive. It makes you ask questions like kids ask why. You, know? now you have a penetrating look. You have been in pictures with uh, uh, doing characters, champion, boxer, uh, even in, I think, the first picture I remember of yours, and I know you're probably used to this. But you won't remember the first picture, because the first picture I ever did, Paul, I played a weakling. It's a picture called The Strange Love of Martha Ivers. I was yes. a weak didn't see that. No. Lawyer. Now, my point is, and I was good in it, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure you were. <laughs> now, my point is that it really wasn't until Champion that oh. suddenly I started to play entirely right. different types of roles. But, you see, the, the, the public uh, pigeonholes you. Just, you know, you're an intelligent fellow, Paul, but you have a, a concept, right or wrong, you have a certain concept of what I am. Part of it, of course, is, you know, based on how I, you know, what I look like and roles that I've played, but I have played other roles. I mean, in uh, uh, Lust for Life, I wasn't, uh, he was kind of a, a tormented, sensitive artist. Uh, I, I have from time to time played different roles, but I guess the image that stays with people, if they think of me at all, would be... Uh, I know, apologize. That's not really what I intended, I know. It was the intensity, if you like, with which you do every role, even in Young Man with the Horn, which I think I've seen 1,100 times, um, well, 11 anyway, um, there was this terrific intensity. So was there well, in... Well, sometimes in perhaps a little too much. I think uh, you've hit on something that is perhaps uh, a good quality in my work, but I find often it's also one of my faults. I think uh, intensity is something that is good to a point. But I do think also, Paul, that if I can criticize my work at times, I've found sometimes, shall we say, an overabundance of intensity. <laughs>